this video I'm going to be showing you how I do a French drain. Um, you can see I've already done some of it right here, this way, and I'm going to be running down this way. Uh, I've actually, I was putting down turf, and then the drainage wasn't right, so I've had to pull everything out. So as you see the video, you'll see things kind of halfway done, or piles of uh, sand, different places. Uh, but really, I'm just this focus, just going to focus on uh, this French drain. So the idea really is just to you dig a trench that's going to slope down so that the water can funnel in there and then go down to the lowest point where they have a drain or however you do it. Uh, but obviously, if you did that, you know, dirt would fill in and it would no longer be level. Uh, or if, like, I need to cover it and you want this to be, you know, have it to be able to, to uh, wick the moisture down or, or the rain. Uh, so what you do is you have you got a long piece here. But essentially, you have this filter fabric, it's called. It's not woven or geotextile, something like that. Uh, and you create what they call a burrito. Is you, you put it in like this. Uh, you're going to put this tube in. Uh, and if you notice, oops, the wrong one here. Uh, these have holes in them on the top. And so what that does is, as it's sitting in here, the water fills in, and then it'll slowly fill up. And then when it gets to that level where it gets into the, the hole, it'll, it'll go into there. And then it has an open area into the tube that's going to be clear of dirt, rocks, things like that, and has a clear path to drain uh, back. I have this one without holes in it, but just to give you an example, so you can see it's going to sit in like that. Uh, but again, we don't want the um, anything in there, and the fabric by itself may not work as good. So what you do is get rocks. I'm not going to fill it all in here, but you fill it in all the way around, cover that, and then this gets covered over like a burrito. Uh, and then you, you cover it over like that. And that way moisture can or the, the rain and everything can seep through there it'll go through this, fa this fabric uh, and those rocks and that aggregate will will catch any large particles that that, that block your drain so i'm going to you know, work on this and just kind of show you how i'm doing it here and i'll also link to i have a different video uh, where i did a different trench drain actually right over here using the, the pre-made uh, you'll see my home depot anything like that uh, where it's a flexible they're not as strong they're not really meant to be walked on uh, uh, and then it has the aggregate. It's really foam around the outside and the sock and everything pre-built. You can take, take those and just lay them. Uh, so, that, you know, that, that's a different option for if you don't want to you know, buy all the, the components. And just to give you a little background on this project, what I was actually doing here is I'm putting down turf. And I actually went and put all this stone dust down. This is kind of a leveling, kind of like a sand. And I put this down. And then it rained on it, and I, I found out that I really needed a drainage underneath it because I have just solid clay underneath, and there had no, there's nowhere for the rain to go. Um, so I actually installed all this, and then I have to had to pull it out, and then that's why I'm doing this video where I'm actually showing where I'm doing the French drain underneath it. And this is what it looked like after it rained. You can see it kind of pooled everywhere. It's hard to tell, but until you push, you see it's just really soft. It just went in there because it was just just soaked in and then soaked up, and then I can't have, you can't walk on this. Uh, so I really needed that drainage underneath it. Um, so that's, again, why I'm, I'm doing this project. Well, it was a pain carrying, getting all of that out, uh, but I just had to do it. Um, so now I have it all out. This is kind of like to start off, just kind of visualize it, visualize it what I'm doing here. Uh, I've got some of the pipe laid out uh, before, so I know how I'm going to dig. I'm having to do it a little bit at a time because like, I have all that stone dust everywhere and I don't have enough place to put it out or places to put it. So I'm doing little bits at a time. Normally you would you know, obviously get rid of everything and have your you know, ready to, to do your trenching. Uh, this is that kind of that drain that I was telling about on the, in the other video. And I'm actually going to use this catch basin right here to drain into on this French drain that I'm doing. So again, I'm kind of looking at it. Uh, I'm also going to put in some regular drains. Uh, like this, because I, I know that just because the way that the pool comes, it levels out. It's going to go over there, and so I need to catch some, you know, maybe a lot of water if it, if it's pouring a lot. Um, so I've got them laid out here again, just my, my pipes that I need uh, for the drain, and I like marking them with uh, paint, just kind of give it a rough idea because you don't want to cut too deep or too wide because then you end up putting more aggregate or stone in there than, than maybe you need. Uh, you want to do it just about or right. Uh, so I, I really like this flat blade, the spade, uh, for digging. It makes it a lot easier for digging straight walls like this because the best is just to go straight down on it vertically. That makes it the easiest. Uh, and that blade is actually 8 inches wide, which makes a good width. If you can dig it in there because the tube is 4 inches and you get about 2 inches on each side, that's about right. Uh, and then it's good for using this to, to level off at the bottom as well. 
So you see, I'm, I'm kind of getting it to about to the width of the blade so that I can just go in there. And I have clay, so it makes it a little bit easier because it kind of clumps up there and I'm able to just skim what I want. Uh, so this is kind of what I'm showing what I'm doing. I'm just laying it parallel to the ground and just skimming off. That way I can leave it compacted, the ground, because it's been there for, you know, years, decades, who knows how long. Uh, and then just testing the, the, the height of it to get about the right where I want, because I know uh, I want those those holes to be a little bit lower than the level. Um, again, the, the more you disturb, the more you're going to have to compact that underneath so that the drain doesn't settle. So that's why I like doing just kind of rough getting it and then kind of skimming it like I was doing and then getting it down to the right height. And then here, I'm, I'm putting it in there rough. Uh, I haven't think I've shown it yet, but here you can see like the holes that are sticking up there. Uh, but I've leveled it as well. You want this graded. I'll talk a little bit more later how I, I graded it. Uh, but again, just getting the idea here of, of leveling it. And this was actually, it rained right in the middle as I was doing it. And you can see how it's not graded correctly. So if the rain was coming in like this, it would just be sitting or go, moving towards the concrete. Uh, so that's why you want to grade it from towards the drain. Um, and then also double check, make sure, because you're going to be putting a lot of aggregate in here. So I'm just kind of estimating just to see how much how much height I have left, because I know that's my final level where I have the level is or where I want my uh, the compacted to be. And I, you know, I'm going to need aggregate and then that dust or that stone or the uh, sand stone dust on top. So just kind of estimating it, just make sure I didn't go too low. And then here's where I'm going to kind of fix that where the the rain would sit there with the water is I'm going to grade it from the edges towards the drain. So the same thing, kind of like I'm, like I'm sh uh, showing how I'm doing this. Um, and then actually going to cut up the uh, pipe a little bit here. You can use any type of saw. It doesn't have to be, this stuff goes in like half an inch, three, qu three quarters of an inch, depending on the the, the, uh, the joint. And so you really don't have to, to work. You know, it'd be that perfect. Uh, but here I'm finally grading it. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm skimming it off just the edge there so that it's the lowest towards the drain. So there's obviously just gonna the, the, the natural gravity will pull it in and then just using the tamper uh, building it up on the edge and then that's pretty much it so just do it all around just so any rain it's gonna hit it's not gonna puddle like it did uh, when, when it was raining and the next is to, to cut this the filter fabric I, I, I like to have it over each one of the joints I think I've seen these where these joints they actually cover enough or most some people don't like landscapers don't actually cover them I want this to last a long time so I, I spend the extra time just putting this the, the fabric around the joints um, and obviously I need it for the rest of the uh, for the French drain here so I have so I'm doing the, just the whole thing it's just easier like I said I'm, I'm going to go over that elbow joint and then over the the T joint uh, and so just kind of making sure it's all level exactly how I want it uh, that I did I just did quickly just to make sure that that's where that drain is going to sit is not above the level so when I put the drain in there it's going to be just right about the level actually a little bit lower when I grade it so the water will funnel into that and here I finally got it all set up now. So this is where I'm just putting the stone or this aggregate around the edge. I kind of made a mistake here. I'll go back and show it uh, where it, it's easier to tie off. So I use zip ties right at the joints and that way it holds it. I'm not trying to, you know, pack, and I ended up packing it too much and then, you know, it's falling out the edges and I'm trying to make, you know, get it in. I'll show you a little bit here. Um, so this is why I made the, the mistake. So it, it's easier. I can zip tie them. I get these like two foot zip ties and just hold it there. And then that way you can put it in and then you don't need to aggregate around the joints anyway, so this just makes it a lot easier. You can just pack it in there and not have to, again, try to fix it. So just kind of showing that I've, I've done this this whole uh, ledge right here, or the, the, this area, all the way down. And then go, I'm going to go back now. That's just easier to actually zip tie them all instead of trying to do them one at a time. So you see I'm kind of working it in there. Uh, you can see how if your uh, ditch was really wide, it would be... You'd be putting a lot ag more aggregate than you may need in there so this is really all there is to it just you can see i put some on top there uh, so it was around it on top and then get some of these landscaping staples and just uh, nail that down or staple it down that way it doesn't when you're putting you know aggregate down whatever on top of it it doesn't flop open because you want that to be completely uh, filtered so here it is got the other part it's kind of a you know repetitive once you once you understand how to do it uh, but you can see it's on the top there and then it's packed in there and then this will cover it up completely and then I'll go back uh, in a little bit and I'm going to put some aggregate on top of this. So I ended up actually trimming that off a little bit just because a little bit extra. I didn't really need that. So that's why now I'm just you know wrapping the burrito here. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. Use some tile or some staples and staple it down. Um, so here I am just trimming it off a little bit again just so I can make it a little bit easier to work with and you know, not have so much uh, stuck in there. Uh, and then next again, like I said, just, just staple it down. 
and then I'm going to go back and fill in around those joints, uh, pack those back in so that they're not going to move because you don't want this whole thing moving and then the, the level not, you know, getting incorrect or and you get an aggregate underneath your pipe and just mess it up. So it's best to just lock everything in place and then, you know, I'm using the tamper again and just, again, just lock it in. Also make sure it's keep keeping that grade that I have uh, where it's graded from the edge toward the, the drain so not you know, messing that up and creating any high spots around there. So I got that that working. Uh, and then I'm, here it is. You can see I actually went back. I forgot I had, uh, had the weed block. I wanted to put that down. And I just that's why the, the uh, dirt's covered up there. But now I'm putting the aggregate on top. And then I, depending on your project, you may not need it everywhere. I need it, uh, you know, more on top of the French drain. But then I need a little bit all around the edges as well. Or actually everywhere covered just so that there is a drainage uh, so that anything that goes through the top layer, that the, the stone dust sand, it's going to go through and then hit that aggregate and have some airspace where it can, you know, flow along the uh, the graded dirt or the clay that I had towards the drain. So you'll see I'm starting up, making it kind of high on top just so that part is filtered out and the drain doesn't get uh, too clogged. And I just double check in, put my aggregate here so I, I know how much of the uh, my top layer is going to go on top of that. So I just make sure I didn't pile it too high, mess that up. I got that correct and then it's really just repeating this so it's going to be a lot of aggregate um, so you can see I'm, I'm putting it there and then I'm actually going to go back and put the, the flat areas as I mentioned I put another drain in here so I got one in the middle again just because the pool concrete or that deck is graded from the pool because they don't want it you know dirt and everything go back in the pool away from that so it's actually going to go towards the drain and then here I'm just kind of showing the, the leveling uh, so what I actually did was I leveled it from the middle, as I'm showing from the middle, to each side, and then towards the back, like where I'm pointing in this this close corner. Because if I did it from here all the way over, you know, if I did the one drain, I would it would have to be like 40 feet, and then dropping it, you know, like I'm showing kind of both sides here, would be you know in uh, you know maybe half a foot, eight inches. I'd have to drop it, and then I have to be digging a lot because uh, I'd have to go back all the way to this corner one place. But since I have drains on each side, I'm able to drain it in two different places. So the middle, each side of the middle is kind of draining to the sides and then back like I'm, like I'm showing here. So I'm just doing half. Uh, so that way, again, I don't have to, to dig as much and also have kind of a backup in case you know, I have two. Uh, so as you're digging, you're probably going to need a, your saw here. Just get a blade you don't like. If you're using a reciprocating saw, just cutting out roots. I was, I was pretty lucky until I got to this side and I had a lot of roots I had to cut. Uh, but again, just a junky blade, just put it in there, cut it out. Just make sure you know what's underneath. Uh, but then I could use it for the same thing. I'm, I'm cutting the pipe here because it's these, these things come in 10 foot sections. Uh, and it's a little bit under 20 with the, with the joints and everything that I have here. And when I'm actually stopping it a little bit earlier. So again, just kind of measuring it here. Also checking the level once I get it in there, make sure it's all draining toward the back. And then one thing I needed to do was because I had a really narrow area and so I needed to bend it a little bit and you can get these joints. Um, it was just easier with this. This this is actually triple wall. It's not like a regular PVC. So this stuff doesn't bend very well, uh, but it's good enough. I only had to bend it like maybe 10 degrees or something like that. So it takes a while. It doesn't make a nice band either, but it's, it's good enough. You'll see. Uh, so I just, it, there's a lot of heating it up, just making sure it, it's soft before you, you can bend it. This stuff sort of like crinkles and doesn't really bend, but again, it was, I didn't have to bend very much here. So you can see I'm just bending it a little bit. It got, I got warm enough where I could feel it was warm. And so I bent it to about what I needed and then just hold it in place till it, it cools off a little bit. It's really hot, obviously. So be careful, don't touch it like I just did, uh, but I was trying to cool it off. Um, so you can see it, it cools pretty quickly and it, and it, it goes, and it, you can see it doesn't really look like much. Uh, but you'll see once it's inside there, it's down towards the bottom there. Um, so it, I just needed just a little bit bend. You can see it kind of it narrowed right where the concrete pavers were and this and the uh, the edging. So I needed just a little bit. You can see where that that kink is. That way I could keep uh, the same amount of spacing on each side. So I went down there. Still got to have to dig this out. Uh, this was a big pain. And then this is my uh, catch basin here that actually drains out to the towards the, the other side of the fence there. So I made sure this was a, a graded away or down so that any water that goes in my French drain goes in there and then it goes down, obviously. And this is why I like to do when I'm tapping to any other basins or drains like this is that filter fabric around it. I make the hole a little bit bigger than the PVC, put it in there and then zip tie on each side. So it's not gonna slip out. Again, might be a little extra over you know overkill, uh, but I like just trying to keep all the drains clear. So once I got that done, put the uh, 
the stones and everything back. Here's my other French drain that I put in there, that, that original part of the, that catch basin. Uh, but then I you know, filled the, the mulch and everything back in and closed that, uh, that where, it's, where all this French drain is going to drain into and then finally out to the front yard. And here's I've just kind of finalized it here. I just some of it's wet. That's why it's all different colors. It's all really the same, except I had a I happened to have a bag of some I think it was like marble or something. I just wanted to get rid of it, so I threw some of that in there as well. So this is all the, the all done. And then I got the the base layer that aggregate on top. So I see I got my drains in so far. My my three drains for just for a little extra surge of water. And here, this really isn't part of it, but just kind of showing you what, just in case you might see it in some of the, the, the later videos. So then now I had it all done. I, I just tried because I'm juggling this stone dust, the sand going around everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to have to dig it out another place. So I just wanted to, to lay it down back over here. So again, this would not be part of the French drain installation, but whatever's going on top, you need to do that. So again, I need some space. Uh, and here's another way I, I like doing it as well. You saw me do before I lay the pipe. Uh, sometimes like when it's narrow like this, I don't really need that. What I really want to do was put it down the middle. So I just use, so I ran a, a line straight down the middle or measured it first, just so I know this is where my pipe's going to go. And again, I remember I said my, the spade I know is like eight inches. I'm just doing a joint down there. Uh, so sometimes, especially if you have clay like this and you can see an edge, I like just putting the, the spade right in the middle and then just making an indent. And this is good enough, especially if you do it, you know, every foot or so. It's pretty quick. You don't even have to paint it. And then you know you're going to have the right uh, width. So I just go down there and then just connect those edges all the way down. And again, I'm, I'm trying to make it about the width of the blade so that when I'm digging in from the other direction where I'm digging down, uh, the blade can clear inside there. And then here's, as I mentioned, I'm draining to a second place. So I have this other catch basin, or this is like a, a big, it's like this three foot or five foot, I can't remember, it was this big place that, that one of the other drains goes into. So I figured I could just drain part of it into this one as well, because this one doesn't get used as much. So this one, um, so that the second side on the right, right hand side uh, is draining over to this side uh, and then down here. And so this one's pretty deep underground. So this was, this was another one. This, this one killed me this, this day, but this was finally... I uh, got this down into that one and then did the same thing where I tapped into that, used some filter fabric, and then just, you know, completed it. So that's at, when it gets down to the bottom, that's what it's going to do. And if you're ever doing this, I usually like to put the same type of thing, stone aggregate on top of the filter fabric. And that way it's not going to, you know, it's not going to get clogged with any sand or anything over time. And then here's, you know, I put it in kind of like everything else, just repeating, repeating. Um, so... You can't, unfortunately, because of this project where I would have to do bits and pieces, you can't see it all at once, but you get the, the idea. So I, I put in a drain there at the bottom, and now I have to clear out that stone dust on this side and then, you know, finalize it. So it's really just going to be more of the same, but it's, I think I showed a lot of different options uh, here. I've just finished this off. I, I extended the drain on the, on the outside in case there was any, you know, extra rain on that side. So you see the same way, tapped or tapped it all in here. So this was, this, this was the final, um, and then I got, I said my finished my other drains, so I just need to fill, fill this up with the aggregate, uh, close the burrito up, and then aggregate on top. Same thing, zip ties, just you know, repeating like I did everywhere else. And then you can see the, this is where it drains on the left side, will drain into that drain, the right side will drain the other one. If there's too much rain, uh, I guess it has a backup.